Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make this great home remedy for sore throats and coughs. And it's very simple to make and pretty effective as well. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need honey, and I like to use a, um, a local honey, a lemon, fresh ginger root. Now, if you're not familiar with fresh ginger, you can find this in the produce section of your grocery store. A lot of times it's over among the vegetables, sometimes paired with fresh horseradish root. Um, make sure you get ginger and not horseradish or this is going to be an entirely different recipe. And then um, a container to put it in, something with a cover because you can leave it in your refrigerator for up to a month as long as it's covered. This is just a simple glass jar that I picked up at um, Walmart. And to make things go easily, I recommend a good slicing knife, something that is sharp. Um, it will help you get the thickness that you desire for your different things. I'm using my Chicago cutlery knife. So let's see how you're going to take your this. lemon, slice off the end, and then the part that's left you're going to slice fairly thin. Again, this is where a good knife comes in handy. You want to be able to get your slices as thin as possible. And you're going to leave the peel and the rind on. So depending on the size of your container, I have a little bit bigger container for this one. So I can use a number of slices. And you're going to take your slices and just place them in the jar and kind of alternate them in different directions. You want to get as much surface area as possible to come into contact with the honey once you put it in. So here we have our Next lemons. we're going to take our ginger root and again using a sharp knife we're going to do as thin as possible little pieces of ginger and you're going to want to vary this to your taste. If you are a big fan of ginger and fresh ginger is pretty strong it's got kind of a warming effect. So depending on how much ginger you like in here, you can add more or less. You can let it sit for 24 hours, taste it, see if you want to add more. You can always add more, you can't take it out once it's in there. So your ginger. And the next step, super easy, you're going to take your honey and you're going to pour it over the ginger and lemon. Again, making sure that all the surfaces are covered. And you can even take a spoon and stir it up a bit just to make sure that you're getting the maximum surface area coverage. And it looks like I need some more honey, so I will add some more. There we go. And then what you're going to want to do is obviously cover it and put it in your refrigerator for at least 24 hours. It helps the flavors to meld and really give you a nice um, rounded flavor. And again, it can stay in your refrigerator for up to a month, providing but it's covered in your refrigerator. once your concoction has been in the refrigerator for at least 24 hours, you can use it to make your drink. So here I have six ounces of hot water. It's not quite boiling, almost. And what I'm going to do is put some of my concoction in. And again, you can play with it to your taste. And put a little bit in, give it a taste, see how much you like in it. If you want to add more, you can. But this is about how much I like mine. And if you'd like a little special treat, you can always add, and get it out here. You can always add a lemon. Makes it kind of pretty. So. Enjoy!